welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about AI and, and uh, in particular we are going to talk about Cloud Opus, the latest version, and on OpenAI's Codex. Uh, I've been using those two um, simultaneously with uh, a couple of other AIs as well. Uh, I also tested Gemini and a couple of others, but um, again, we are just going to focus on Cloud and on uh, Codex today. And yeah, as you can see, I already have an official post open from Cloud because yeah, in the last four weeks, the, uh, it, yeah, it has been degraded and it has been downgraded a lot. I also noticed it where I ask a simple task to uh, Cloud Opus and it just keeps doing the complete opposite. And to, to give an example, uh, hey Cloud, would you make me a coffee? And it will tell me uh, that I need to take a flight around across the world. And it will uh, tell me in great detail how to book a flight or something. And <laughs> all I wanted was a coffee. And uh, in more technical terms, I was working on uh, having Two different uh, coding platforms, uh, two, uh, two different coding uh, languages talk to each other via shared memory, and it was Rust and C++. And yeah, it didn't work. It was horrible. It overcomplicated things way too much, and it yeah, it didn't do what I asked, and it was very frustrating. And yeah, I, I was not happy. And also in my Discord, I haven't. I also vented a little bit about it. And as you can see over here, this was one of the responses from Cloud. And I'm like, yeah, are, are you serious? You're 100% right. I wasted hours because, yeah, it didn't take the file name that I wanted to take. And normally I use AI to build simple things for me or do code reviews or refactoring on code that I've written myself. And yeah, so far Cloud, uh, it, it was great in the past. Uh, if I talk about it uh, um, um, two months ago, then I would have praised it and it was perfect. But yeah, for now, no, not impressed. <laughs> it's, it's not what it used to be. Then eventually I tried OpenAI's uh, Codex and it basically did the same task, but it did it in 15 minutes with, without arguing or anything. It just did it. And the the key difference for me with cloud is it needs just, it needs validation. Hey, I'm uh, having a super complex solution for you. And here, do you want me to build this? And I'm like, it's not what I ask. I just ask for a simple thing and no not happy with it and uh, also what i noticed is uh, especially in in uh, the rust program programming language it's it's trying to do uh, old outdated things while i know that it can do better so it, it uses async uh, so i would use async and it would use um, um, other solutions that are not as fast and I think to myself, hey, why are you doing that? And then eventually what I also noticed is when I uh, reach the limit on uh, Opus, I get downgraded to Sonnet. And Sonnet seems smarter at, at the moment. You can ask it to do uh, basic tasks like, hey, can you uh, look into my code that I've written? And can you uh, check for code smells, optimize it? And it would do that all just fine. So. Cloud is still good, but it's not what it used to be a couple of months ago. Now, uh, with that out of the way, I want to go to uh, Codex. And Codex has been uh, shining lately. You ask it something and it will do it. it uh, but is it great? No. <laughs> it will do it and it will make it work, but you still have to do a lot of tweaking or you have to be very specific if you want to have something working out of the box. Um, as uh, I see it with AI at the moment, it, it's good, but it gives you like 
seventy percent working code, and then the last thirty percent you have to do yourself. So you still have to use your brain if you want to have something good. So that has been a short rant, I guess. Um, but if I want to have a positive, is I used v, uh, VS Code and with Cloud. It's, it's very straightforward. It works. You can also add MCP uh, servers to it with ease. And Codex also has one, but what I've been using, and this is just a little shout out to them, I guess, is Kilo Code. Kilo Code actually um, has every, everything uh, compact into one, and you can just add your... Um, uh, API code to it, and then you can, where is it? Oh, I have too many things installed, I guess. Ah, here's the Codex one I also used. And again, I have too much stuff. Where is it? No, no, no. Ah, there we go. Kilo code. Uh, you can also use uh, all other sorts of AIs with them. So I used uh, Gemini with it. I uh, used uh, a couple of other free AIs as well. And um, not to get off topic from Cloud and Codex, um, there are some good free AIs uh, that you can use and churn until you reach the limit and then you can go and, and, and use another one for free. And that's also how I've been using uh, free AIs lately to just do a couple of code checks of what I've written or some of my projects. And I want to say, hey, can you just look into my project? What would you improve? And then without them improving it, I will just improve it myself then. But yeah, Kilo Code AI, very good. Just a quick little shout out to them, I guess. And now coming back again to Cloud and Codex, um, yeah, Cloud needs to step up their game because they uh, admitted that they um, have seen uh, degradations with with their software. But uh, yeah, this is not acceptable. The, so they admitted it, but they uh, say that they're working on it. But it's been now more than a month, and it's yeah, it's it's not great. So yeah, I hope they, they, they fix their stuff and that we can see the old cloud uh, performance again in the future. But yeah, for now, thank you for watching and I hope you all have a nice day.